car. That's it, that's the video, let's go home. This is my 2001 740i. I wanted to switch it up from the convertible, so I had to go the exact opposite, VIP. It's the facelifted. I haven't done anything, well, I've done like three things to it, and by the three things, I mean black grills, because black grills, you gotta have black grills on a BMW. Uh, it's lowered. And that's all, aftermarket-wise, that I've done. It, for some reason, has one clear little blinker right here. But then on the other side, they wrapped it. So, that one's clear. This one is black. Doesn't really make any sense, but that's how I got it. <laughs> Everything wrong with the car. Windshield's cracked, as you can see. Um... When I first got it, none of the window regulators worked except for the passenger side. So they had just a bunch of tape holding this one up. But I've fixed all the regulators. Another thing that's wrong with the car, it's got some rust. The car is from Virginia, so there's rust on the, some of the rear quarters. Rust on the driver's door. It's not all the way through. We've poked at it and tried to figure it out, uh, but it's not, it's good. So it should be an easy repair. Well, maybe not easy, but easier than having to, you know, cut it out and weld a whole new piece in. Let me show you the interior. So, it's an Oyster with navy interior. Ooh, so VIP. And I wanted the long wheelbase because it's a VIP build. So, you got an extra six inches of foot room. Oh, man, I'll show you how much room we've got. Ooh. Is unreal. It came with footrest that match because you gotta be VIP, you gotta be bougie. This is the footrest. I need to get the cocaine trables that go right here. Trables? The cocaine tables or trays, either one you wanna call them, not trables. But they'll come down. And then they've got the headrests that pop up. They got little mirrors in there. This is for when you're smoking, you know, because I'm a smoker. I smoke. I don't smoke that loud. And this is probably the most useless compartment. I don't understand it. And a lot of V38 guys don't really know, but it's just, you can't really reach your hand out in there. It's really long. Maybe it's like for pencils. Yeah, it's like a pencil holder. It came with the DSP sound system, so it's got a lot more speakers. But every single one of the speakers is blown, so that's good. One of my favorite small things about it is I'll get on this side that we can look at right there. Come on, come on, come on. Right here. This little light right here is a little reading light that lights up right here perfectly. I think it's so cool. Oh, of course, you can't have VIP without the shades. Don't want nobody looking in like that, you know? We got this nice little thing right here. Some of them came with phones in the rears. Uh, and some came with fridges. I have the skiing package, which means I got a heated steering wheel, heated front seats, heated rear seats, and a ski bag. It's probably the most common one, the skiing package, but yeah, I got a ski bag. I don't have a cool fridge, I have a ski bag. I think that's mostly it for the interior, nothing too too special. I guess it's cool for 2001, heat, read, heat, heat, hmm, words? <laughs> heated rear seats, heated front seats, and a heated steering wheel. Um. The 750s had reclinable rear seats, which was sick. Oh, there's a big rear window shade that goes back here as well. But there's a button up there to put it up and down. Gotta fix the saggy headliner. Classic. I don't expect anything less. Like, if I sit upright, it's pretty close to my head. So if I was any taller, you know, I'm only like 4'5". If I was any taller, it would hit my head and it would be terrible. I want to get the wood handles that go here, the grab handles. They have this piece in wood. The little ashtrays are in wood. I need to get all the cool trim pieces, but they all cost money and I don't have any of that. Onto the trunk, it's perfect. Perfect for when you like, gotta put a body in there. I meant to say, golf bags, four golf bags. See that? Maybe we'll test that on an episode of Does BMW Lie? They do sometimes. Um, can you put four golf bags in your 2001 740 IL?
You can't. We try to fit one, and it doesn't actually fit that way. I'll let you know now. We won't make an episode of that. I only have one battery. Some of them came with two. One here, and then one's supposed to swivel out. I only have one. Don't know why. I thought the 740, or the 2001s, had two batteries, but they don't. They've got one. Don't know why. This, right here. Six CD changer. I mean, what more do you want in life? You can put six CDs in there. You can put Backstreet Boys, you can put NSYNC, and you can put the Spice Girls. It's got a navigation system. It actually works. It works by CD. So depending on where you're at, you put in whatever CD you need. Uh, it works. It also froze up my head unit, so I'm not gonna show you guys that it works, but it works. Yeah. It has a motor. Oh. That's it. The motor has been um, temperamental for me because the previous owner really was not the best. Uh, didn't take the best care of it. It's an M62TU, which means it's the technical update. Switched up a couple things, a little more torque. Uh, 4.4 liter V e Ocho. That's missing its beauty cover. Um, I've replaced throttle body, the throttle body flange. I've replaced both valve cover um, gaskets. I've replaced the CCV. I need to replace the OSV um, because it tends to smoke up on startup sometimes and build up oil in the intake manifold, uh, which can be the CCV, which is a lot easier. Replaced it, didn't fix it, so now I gotta do the OSV, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, it's, I know it's a healthy motor. They've already done the timing chain guides and a lot of other things that tend to go bad on this car. Um, I, just like I said, have to do the OSV. You mean like redline it? I'll redline it, I'm uh, scared. All right, I'm gonna go over here. I don't think it's that loud, but the previous owner also cut off the mufflers, so it's kind of like, oh, that's the third thing that I did. Halos. Oh. I forgot. They don't look bad from like right here. Uh, the halos are nice, lowered. Need to get some good wheels. These little 17s just aren't cutting it for me. It's not bad though. I'll give it a little, a little blip. Oh. Um. Maintenance, huh? My car vapes, dude. Oh, sick. <laughs> I said it burns oil. Oh, the OSV just spits oil in there. Oh, look, you can kind of see the lights here. It's a little bit lighter. You see the light coming in there? Fancy. Hey, when it's nighttime, you're like, yo, where are my door handles? They're right there because they're lit up. She whips. I've driven her to Atlanta a couple times. Knoxville actually had it for like six months, but I also haven't uploaded in like a year and a half. I haven't been that long. I'm just kidding. It's been like six months since I got the car. Where's your car at? But yeah, definitely. For 2001, this thing's sick. I mean, top of the line, this is my, this is the year that I wanted. The colorway's sick. I, I kind of wanted a dark color, black, or this dark blue. The uh, interior combo, the oyster with the blue, I think that's really cool. I, I was either that or all black. Pretty good find. I'm excited to build it. It's gonna be super stance, super VIP, super awesomeness. Also, if you build a VIP car, you probably know this, you have to say it has a high level of VIP. Oh. Because you can't say, because it does not sound right. Like, dude, I just, like, if I, like, switch this out to, like, a really fancy VIP mirror, I couldn't say, yo, Look at the level of VIP-ness. The level of VIP. They like the car. I mean, it's pretty sick though. Like for how mostly stock it is, just lowering it. Just don't look at the rust. Don't look at the broken stuff on the front. And it'll be really nice.
Uh, yeah. No. Oh.